Folks, it's Sunday. Welcome aboard. Uh, what are we? Murder Hobo Inc. That's what we are. <laughs> One of those days, man. Uh, welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., the Margu campaign, our tri generational campaign. These guys are in deep shit, period. No question about it. They are in trouble. Uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. First, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, <clears throat> it's down there if you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to listen to us without looking at the moneymaker, uh, tinyurl.com, M Hobo Inc. Audio. Uh, it's our audio-only podcast. Uh, I'm, I'm pedaling as fast as I can to get all the sessions up. This is session, I don't know, 193 or 194, something like that. There's a lot of shows that we've done, a lot of talking. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, I don't think I'll use pirate dog dice. These guys don't need the negativity uh, today because they're associated with that. <laughs> I may yeah. have mentioned that they're in deep shit. Uh, and don't forget, uh, if your game stinks, try Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. Uh, just don't huff it like Putrid Sewer, a.k.a. like Kyle did and nearly had to go to the ER. Don't huff the scent boys and girls uh let's introduce you to the cast today we will start with the senior patriarch member of the crew i think the last sane druid or last intelligent party member of only the intelligent party member leaf the druid hey i have a phd in being intelligent okay oh i forgot man fang i'm sorry next to man fang the only intelligent party member uh we're gonna check his diplomacy undiseased skills. undiseased party member Okay, that one that one includes me. Yes, uh, last intelligent, it, undiseased party member. That's that, it. Yes. Not oh wait a minute, undiseased, non-egotistical party member. That, that uh, one gets. You're, you're, you're really you're, you're really hemming everybody. Yeah. I, I didn't want to leave you out there, copious. Uh, we will go from the oldest to the youngest, Man Fang. Uh, little Frank, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Uh, Man Fang, I am a dragonborn fighter who is off on a mission to get back everything or help out i guess <laughs> <laughs> to get back on this ship yeah that's gonna to be find hard my, to get back my um uh, what is it in the movies what do they say to get back my like what is it like yeah glory. that's what they say yeah it's not gonna happen guaranteed uh aj you're up next who are you who are you playing I'm AJ, and I'm playing Felix, the last sexy party member. And I'll tell you, Felix, after last week, I don't think he's ever going to be the same. Uh huh. Bilateral hey. now, eh? Hey. Hey. Well, you, you, you we'll got see. lucky with the uh, very short Amazons last time. I did. Uh, last but certainly not least, the self proclaimed admiral of the group. Jason, tell us about yourself. Myself or Copious? Yes. Uh, co <clears throat> copious Admiral Copious Volbitters the third, uh, a very demure and uh, nondescript gnomish witch. Wait, did did you switch characters? Because <laughs> I'm not familiar with that one. He may have some delusions of grandeur, but he's always some. dressed well. He is always dressed well. I'll, I'll give him full marks for that. Folks, uh, these guys have had their share of trials and tribulations, to say the least. They have been to the Tabaxi homeland. They have been to the Tortle homeland. They have absconded with a Tortle warship, and they now find themselves in Drake Larry, home to the Halflings. They are in Lightreach, a small coastal town hidden away under the large cliffs that surround the peninsula. These guys came in as friends. Uh, things happen. Stuff yeah, goes it, on. Pushing it there. Yeah. Well, you, you guys were coming to look for supplies. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Halflings invaded their ship. Yada, yada, yada. Homicide. Yada, yada, yada. Felix tied to a bed by Amazonian halfling women. Uh, and... Felix, let's see. Uh, Felix is tied up. Copius is having dinner with the madam. Man Fang is with uh, Crap Stain, uh, just arriving after murdering people. And Leaf the Druid is in pursuit of several members of the Red Vest Gang, a group of halfling, young adolescent halfling ne'er do wells. Uh, 
Ah, uh, let's let the die decide who starts. Leaf, it is. Uh, you plunge into the cellar, go down the wrought iron rungs in the side of the cavern. I believe we said you could go left or you could go right, right being towards the cliff, and you went left. Am I correct? Yeah, I'm going to, at this point in time, uh, change into a rat and give it a sniff, see if I can smell a little shit. Uh, Not a little shit, the little shit. I will take perception at advantage. Well, that's a 22. Uh, yes, you smell them. And that's the direction that I'm going to head. Uh, left it is. Uh, you go through, uh, there are puddles of water in here. Clearly, this is some kind of cave created by the uh, motion of the ocean, not to be confused with up top. Uh, Felix, you mean? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, you... Oh, wait, that's motion and lotion. I'm sorry. I'm on my back. Well, at least they're using lotion. <laughs> Yeah, but not where they should. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> like I said, Phoenix or Felix is never going to be the same after this. Uh, Leaf D12 against me. Let's see if you find friends. Seven? Twelve. Uh, does this I, allow I you it. to speak giant rat? Does it allow me to speak giant rat? Yep. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. Let me uh, let me go back to Druid time. Well, we'll make it easy. Uh, four giant rats are coming from the left towards you at a mm -hmm. rapid rate. Okay. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm looking looking it up. So give me a second. Sure. <laughs> Man Fang looks like he's in an aha video from the 80s. <laughs> Take on me, Man Fang. Well, I didn't want to miss anything. I wanted to turn the light off, so I had to run really fast. Um. Uh, it's taking you a while, man. Yeah, it's probably a short walk from where he's at to where you're at. He's <laughs> just right over there. Just long enough to get a golf club. It doesn't. It doesn't really say whether I can talk to him or not. Uh, uh, you can. Even you can. Okay. One. Yes, you can. Uh, they head right for you, chittering. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run with them. I'm gonna and, turn. And I'm gonna turn around you. and run. You are the last one. Let me see if I can net you. Uh, fourteen doesn't hit you, does it? Nope. Uh, you hear a thunk behind you as a spear ricochets off the rough, puddle-filled corridor. Do you want to pick up the pace or stop and chit-chat and rat? Nip. I'm gonna pick up the pace. <clears throat> Uh, you continue to run, and you go to the right. The tunnel rapidly drops into an opening about yay big. Let's see if a hand can get you as they dive for your tail. 15 plus 3, 18. Oh, that'll get me. Uh, somebody has you by the tail. <clears throat> you will not possess the strength in a rat form to resist, and mm. they will pluck you from the tunnel, hold you above dinner, and throw you in a box mm. uh, designed to hold rats. Uh, the person will then set the box down, reach on in, and get bit on the finger. You are trapped in a box. Uh, Felix, speaking of trapped, uh, your hour-long session is complete, and your uh, employees, shall I say, uh, go ahead and ease the restraints that they have used upon you. You feel beaten. You feel battered. You feel cheap. Uh, but you are alive. 
I, uh, <clears throat> I think Felix, after that hour, is in love. Yes, he really <laughs> enjoyed <laughs> what well, happened. It was an knees. out of body experience. Things happen to you that you've only read about uh -huh. in sailors' uh -huh. diaries. So. Ten out of ten on Yelp. Ten out of ten. <clears throat> as yeah, you are, I, yeah. Go on. As you, you are escorted out of the room. You hold on to the banister for dear life because your legs are quite wobbly and you feel <laughs> a little bit low on the hydraulic pressure. Uh, and you look down in the waiting room, but you do not see your associate who swore that he would wait for you. Uh, I am going to <clears throat> ask, hey, hey, where did the guy I came in here with go? Room three. Oh, okay. Uh, well, how much longer does he have on his hour is what I'm going to ask. <laughs> Well, that's what I assume happened is that he got bored of waiting and heard yeah, he all the excitement and said, oh, I can't pass this up. I went what he's house. having. Yeah, uh, went uh, yeah <laughs> exactly. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure uh, what his length is remaining. Uh, probably at least a half hour. Oh, OK. It, is there like a chair or anything in the lobby oh, yeah. that I can sit yeah. in? Very is, soft chair. Oh, then I am going to sit in the soft chair and ask them for something to replenish all of my electrolytes. Maybe some uh, Gatorade. Maybe some uh, gnome aid. <laughs> they will bring you, uh, Sting will deliver that for you. Uh, they will bring you some libations. Excellent. Uh, Copious, uh, did you want to order for the madam or did you want to trust her judgment like Captain Kirk? Uh, trust her judgment like Captain Kirk. Very good. She orders the surf and turf. <laughs> AKA surf and mutton uh, and a heaping plate uh, is delivered to both of you. Uh, the chit chat is casual. She asks you about your trials and tribulations. She notices your particular haircut and is curious about that. Uh, Copius will lay it on thick about his travels being the hero that he is much the same way and he'll point out eventually the bards uh, are extending <clears throat> my tails all over the the northern and western shores uh, of this of the world uh, he'll lay all that out much like he did with the carnival of death uh, he will just lay it on as thick as he possibly can that worked out real well for you as i recall <laughs> from copious's eyes it was perfect <laughs> uh she uh Kind of glances around and uh, get any more of that flask juice? Uh, didn't she down all of what I was carrying? Yep. Yeah. I say I, I, I don't at the moment, but I am brewing more on board ship. Uh, well, that's too bad. Uh, the chit chat continues, and then she asks you about the vehicle that you possess. Did we remember to get rid of those bodies? No, you did not. Uh, okay, actually, good. Robert was doing charcuterie on him. Oh, right. She asks us about the uh, ship. Uh, can I try to intuit her what she's, her interest? If it's I'll take an insight you? check. Fourteen. Uh, well, she's a businesswoman, so you can't really tell. She's a savvy businesswoman. Uh, so she's throwing up Nick's signals. Uh, she's like a crip in a blood throwing different gang signs at you, and you can't tell what she's after. Then I will uh, be somewhat cautious and say it's a, it's a trading vessel. Of course, plying these waters as we do, we are outfitted to defend ourselves, but it's a simple trading ship. <sighs> I have never seen one of its like. It almost looks like a warship. Well, it was salvaged uh, after we were attacked. Attacked by? Uh, I don't remember. Pirates of some kind. We're not. I couldn't describe them. It was a mixed mixed uh, crew. She's having a good time. Manfang, you and Crapstain land on the pier and you're looking around. You know that several of the red vests have made off with a lot of your crew's stuff. 
Your crew is not happy at all. Uh, one of the items was uh, Pierre's bag. You are unaware of where it is. Uh, there's another bag, and uh, the third item was... Uh, anybody remember what the third item was? It wasn't a zonky. It was the posters. Yeah, or somebody's maps. picture. It was the maps. Yeah, the Did maps we get back that posters. bag? Did we, didn't Grandpa snatch that bag? From you like... do not know that, but yes, he did. Yeah, all right, cool. <clears throat> so as you wade ashore, uh, you get a variety of mixed signals. Uh, clearly, your dragonborn appearance is going to be problematic. Haga's crap stain's height is going to be problematic. And They're just amazed by my beauty. That's Yeah, we'll go with that. We're wrong, but we'll go with that. Uh, they look at you and uh, give me a perception check. That is a 14. You spy a uh, adolescent halfling wearing a red vest eyeballing uh, you. It is a female. Do they do they seem like they're watching me for something? Like do, I don't yep. know. Like they're do they watching. notice me see them or like run away or something? Uh, they notice that you spot them, they spot you, and she takes off towards a crowd of halflings. I'm going to, oh God, there's a red vest real popular here by any chance. Every adolescent you've seen wears one. Oh, <laughs> that's great. What did she look like? Or do I have to roll investigation for that? She looks like a standard halfling uh, female. She's got a charisma of 19. She's a very pretty young lady. But she's a young lady, so I don't care. Okay, Correct. I'm going to chase her down. Yeah, I don't think you have the dexterity to woo her. Right. Uh, I don't think you have the master of dexterity next to me. As you uh, chase her down, she jumps behind an adult halfling, tugs on the shoulder, and yells, Daddy, Daddy, the mean man is after me. Oh, uh, liar. As you and Haggis pull up, the man turns around, and he's got a star. <laughs> Yeah, Hello, he was for Texaco. Uh -huh. Constable Lori uh, says, why are you following my daughter? Uh, she's, I thought she was somebody I knew. It was it was just a coincidence. So, Are you from around here? Uh, no, but when we're... When How we, would you know her? Well, Who are you looking for? Who oh, are I'm you? So, Tell oh, me your God. name. I what are you doing here? All right. I am Man Fang. We Kill him, Man Fang. Kill him. No, shut up. I'm going diplomacy here. This episode, I'm going to be intelligent, okay? Okay. <laughs> and prison. <laughs> ah. All right. I am Man Fang. Magic wand. He's shining light on Man Fang as he's asking questions. That's right. Smacking the old baton in his hand. <laughs> Right. Go ahead, Man uh, Fang. You're, do you're doing fine. Keep your cool. I know. I am Man Fang. I come from the, the my mother. Um, <laughs> I we we are travelers from just going around trading some good doing goods and services like normal people, I guess. And we when we were traveling, I saw someone who was wearing a red vest. They were kind of small, so I just thought they're the same person. And I just you know, I'm going to talk to them again. So I'm just sorry. This is all coincidence. Go ahead and give me a persuasion roll. Oh, God. Got to roll with a good hand. That is a uh, persuasion. Everyone. Don't get your bonuses. Yeah, I got no bonus. So that is a 17. What? 17? Yeah. yeah. I did okay. <clears throat> he will buy that you are a simple traveler. Uh, where are your wares? They're on... Oh God. They're on that ship over there. And I point to our vessel. Hmm. Apparently the constable is the last to know everything. Uh, honey, are you sure this man's following you? Daddy, he was following me. Yeah. It was just a coincidence. I'm okay. sorry for the trouble. Well, I'll leave you be. 
I'm sorry. I, I think that's a wise choice. Also, leave my uh, daughter be. I, I know. I'm. She does not, not need the likes of you uh, clouding her precious young mind with foul things. I would never even think of it. Hey, Man Fang, I want you to keep this conversation in mind as you go through life. Yeah. Well, it's wise. <laughs> Sooner or later, you're going to have this conversation with somebody's daddy. While he's cleaning his gun. <laughs> Very similar conversation. Didn't the last little girl we interacted with, didn't she get turned into a pink vapor and disappear? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, who did that? Uh, Miss Haggis. Crap. Uh, nah, it was crap that was Haggis, right. yeah. Uh, yeah, but he's oh, with Man Fang, so. Exactly. Uh, we'll shift back to Leaf, the last small giant rat of the group. Uh, unfortunately, your captor could not shag any others, uh, so she is going to have to settle for you. She walks back down the left tunnel, uh, maybe 200 yards, and sets you on a little outcropping of rock. On the other side, there is a kettle uh, under or atop a fire. Uh, she begins to peel vegetables. Is, is she going to shave the rat? I need her to shave the rat before the rat goes in the pot. She ain't going to get a chance to shave this rat, sucker. <laughs> uh, she might. I mean, I don't know if she likes hair or not. We'll have to see. So what, uh, kind of, what kind of box am I in? You're in a, like, crappy two pieces of wood with wooden dowels surrounding it and then just a front leather uh, entrance. So you can try and gnaw through the leather. You won't be gnawing through the wood in any quick time. Apparently you've never seen a rat work. I've seen a rabbit work and boy, those things are fast. <laughs> yeah, just ask, ask Felix. Uh, yeah, I'll start working on the leather. Okay, fair enough. Uh, a few moments later, uh, a voice yells down further down the left, uh, calling to Adria. Uh, the girl stops what she's doing and wanders down. Go ahead and give me a performance check, please. This is on that one. 19. Uh, you successfully managed to gnaw through the leather rather quickly. Uh, and go ahead and give me another performance roll. Let's see if your fat rat body can squeeze through the gap. Uh, 12. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You plop down on the uh, stone surface. You look to the left. Uh, you see two red-vested halflings uh, discussing something. Uh, one of them is holding a burlap sack. I'm going to try to hide in shadows and get as close to them as I can in my... And I'm not a giant rat. I'm a rat rat. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Sorry. Thought I better make that clear. Not not oh. the giant. I appreciate that. Give me a D12, please. Seven. Twelve. Fair enough. You uh, sneak up on them, and they are discussing some of the members of their group uh, have been slain aboard a ship out in the bay. First, you've heard about this. And one of them got an arrow through their head. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but there's just two of them with our bag of stuff. Okay. I'm just going to stay in the shadows and see what develops with this. Sure. Give me another D12. I guess I'll stay in the shadows till I fool this hey. roll. 11. Uh, yeah, no signs. Nobody coming up behind you. Uh, they're going off of a list of names uh, of the missing. Uh, they aren't sure. Uh, he holds open the bag. Uh, Adria looks in it. Ooh, wow, I want that. Uh, reaches in uh, with her back to you, takes something out of it, uh, and then says, well, I have to go back. I'm getting ready for dinner. Uh she turns around. Give me a hide and shadows check. Uh, I actually, I don't know what that that's going to be. I don't have the uh... Uh, stealth stealth check. Uh, rule eighteen. Yeah, you hide in the shadows. Now D twelve against me. Six. Twelve. 
Uh, yeah, you're fine. She walks past, grabs a hold of the uh, box, and is mad and quickly starts scanning. The other one's still here with the bag? Nope, the other one left. Further down left. Okay, I'm following the other one. Okay, give me another stealth check. or uh, Yeah, stealth check. I don't want this going last. Uh, yeah, four. Oops! Uh, you managed to get away because she is actively searching. Uh, <laughs> she rolled a two. <laughs> um, yeah, my, ro my rolls are, have not come around yet today, but they will. Uh, as you follow the individual, you notice the outline of the burlap sack has a variety of items. So uh, you don't know what they've taken uh, aside from two sacks and then the saddlebags, which I assume you have in your changed form. Yep. Okay. Uh, you follow them down and the cave turns into somebody's basement. Uh, there are a variety of furnishings there. Uh, the guy takes the bag, slings it into an old ratty chair with three legs, and he goes, Mittens! Mittens! <laughs> Over Sorry, to Felix! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Felix, uh, you startle awake and quickly look around uh, your exhaustion level uh, weakened your system and you have apparently nodded off for an unknown amount of time. Uh, sounds about right. Uh, as I look around, uh, am I noticing anything that strikes my fancy? Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. This is a highbrow boudoir. Yeah, I think Felix is... Uh, Felix was given a souvenir while he was in there of... <laughs> But he would like to take another souvenir, and he's going to look for something that he can easily pocket. I'm, I'm guessing he probably got a couple of souvenirs. Oh, he probably got that one as well. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, there's a, you know what? I'll tell you what. There is a picture frame that would probably fit an image that you fancy. Interesting. It's a uh, gold leaf. Uh, there's also some silver candlesticks. Uh, there's nah. also a small box, uh, and it's got a wide key on the side. Yeah, I think the picture frame might be the best. Is it small enough that I can easily disguise it to get it out of here, or is it going to be noticed that I'm carrying a large picture frame? How, how big do you want your picture to be? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I figured if there's a picture you. frame on the wall, it's going to be hard for me to sneak out. The box is to, probably a better option for me. You're going to have to put it in his wallet and look at it whenever he wants. But I, I kind of want a memento of something, something that says like, oh, the, yeah, you know, <laughs> something, uh, something that, yes, like that. I'm sure that, that says, I've been violated. Is that what we're looking for? I think everyone will know based on the look on my face from I think the here ligature on. marks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, I got these scars. I'm going to take the box. I don't okay. think I can get away with the picture frame that I'm imagining. It's going to be too large. Okay. Do you want to open it or turn the key by chance or not yet? Not yet. As you walk outside, you notice uh, night is fallen and oh uh, you are not sure where anybody is because there was nobody with you in the waiting room. Uh, do I see anybody around? You see the guards making their last rounds with the treasure wagon. I'm going to... Oh, the treasure wagon. Mm -hmm. Same guards that I recognized from earlier? D12 against me? Five. Two. Nope. Different guards. Uh, I might... If they're near enough that I can speak to them at a reasonable level, I might say, oh, do you guys need a hand going up the stairs? Oh, stretch would be fine. Yeah, do you uh, see these muscles? These muscles can lift a whole lot. But thanks. Uh, do you, okay, let I'll me know. Do you, you see these muscles? Uh, those, are, know. those are pretty good muscles. They remind me of my wife in her younger days. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lucky man. You are on level three. I think I'm going to go back down to level two. Okay. And start searching for other party members, kind of backtracking where we came as best as I can remember it. The apothecary. Uh, 
<laughs> What's that? The apothecary. <laughs> Ooh, yes, that was right. Oh, I forgot about the apothecary. I need to go back to the apothecary. I need to ask Georgina for more of whatever she gave me in that little pouch. E12 against me. Let's see if Georgina's there. Oh, please. And damn it. Three. Shop's closed. Damn it. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow. I made a note of that last week. I I got it right here as well. So uh, Copia says dinner winds down. Your belly is full. Uh, you don't even have to roll. Whoever the cook was knew what they were doing. Uh, however, a familiar face comes up to your table and greets you. Oh, Lord. It is Georgina the witch. She oh, asks God. if the illness that your friend had is doing better and if the medicinal herbs had the desired effect that he wanted. The brothel owner waits for your explanation. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, yeah, he took it. He seemed to be doing much better. Thank you for your assistance. And, You're welcome. Uh, let him know uh, I, I will have more in stock in the morning if he seeks more. I will certainly do that. I appreciate it. And then if now, Jordan, I can't, I can't remember now. Did you need something? Something about a rash or chafing? Not I. <laughs> the madam is still. No, I, I'm just going to look at the madam on, on the uh, as an aside and go sea voyage. You know, you, you get sometimes out to sea a long time. You can have some complications. One of our party members is, was quite ill. Uh, persuasion. Yeah, because this always works. Right, for me. Understatement. Oh, this time it did. Uh, twenty-four. Mine's a natural one, so okay, she'll buy that. Chap skin. <laughs> You know, I have oils back at the business. Oh, for uh, chafing? You could say that. Oh, I, I, maybe, maybe we'll take some of that with us before we get back on the ship. Do you know how to apply it? I do not, but I'm... I am an expert, and I can go ahead and assist I, you. I... Uh, I really appreciate that offer. What's that? Is that Felix? Felix out the hallway? I think is Felix. Felix is done. It's not Felix. It's not Felix. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Don't worry, Felix. I'm on my way. We'll get you back to the ship. Great. So, bring the uh, bring Georgina. <laughs> so is dinner done? Dinner's done from my perspective. Okay. Uh, you step outside. You find yourself on level three. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 22. Uh, you spot a very tall figure down on level two, rummaging, uh, looking in a window. I'm going to go. Uh, can I sort of intuit? Oh, that's near Georgina's shop? Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, there's Felix. That man whore. <laughs> totally left me in there. Now, yeah, but, uh, with a beautiful woman wanting to rub lotion all over you. What a jerk. <laughs> Yeah, it's like there were two women wanting him. Yeah, but Copius is afraid of powerful women. It's in his backstory. <laughs> she uh, she is <laughs> definitely powerful. Powerful uh, women with mechanical devices. That's right. After she's, the noises I heard coming from Felix, I didn't want any part of that. She's the James West of the Bordellos. <laughs> <laughs> Everything she touches turns into a different item. Man Fang, uh, you have been shooed away from the lovely and gorgeous Constable Lori's daughter. Uh, you and Haggis uh, notice that it's getting dark and you're getting hungry. What do you want to do? Uh, I, I guess I'll find an inn relatively close to the boat. The closest inn that will satisfy your face is on level one, uh, down to the right. All right, I guess we'll go there. Okay. Uh, as you walk in, you notice another halfling. Uh, this one is a this one's a male. Uh, the proprietor he 
looks you up and down and says, uh, can I help you? I'd like to, what, did you, what do you say? Uh, Laddie, tell me what you want. All right, I want to stay here for the night. A cat jumps down on the book, spilling ink. The man swats at it and says, Mittens, get out of here. Uh, just you or you and your friend? Yeah, no. <laughs> More, not friend, acquaintance. He, he call, he'll he pay for his own separate room. I'm wow. not paying for a room for him. No, he can get his own. That's the only, the only room I got for you is uh, second floor. Uh, you still got to bend down because uh, you, you, you laddie are too tall. All right, that's, that's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> you uh, get your room and you quickly discover that both you and Haggis have a length problem as your feet dangle off the bed. Is it is it like from Elf where he's on the bed and he's like... It is stressed. like Elf. Haggis <laughs> is a halfling. Yes. Haggis is a halfling. Oh, he is? Oh. Yeah, Haggis oh, is a halfling. Uh, the only thing you notice is that, A, you're going to be uncomfortable, and B, Haggis is snoring. I forgot. Mm -hmm. I thought he was a human. And I'm like six foot, like five? Yeah, it's uh, you need two beds. Maybe you kick Haggis out and take his bed. You guys, is can there cuddle. like are there like extra? No, no way in hell. Is there like an extra blanket I can use? Like extra blankets I could just lay on the floor or something. D twelve. Nine. Yeah, there are. All right, good. Now I'm gonna take a few blankets, one on the floor, one on top of myself. And Meanwhile, back on the ship, uh, Robert's charcuterie skills have required him to sharpen his knives frequently, bothering the rest of the party profusely. Uh, there is kind of a uh, gnomish standoff with him. Until they get their shit back, they are not going to be happy, nor do they appreciate the fact that murder most foul has been committed upon the Pisterus. Uh Back to Leaf. Uh, Leaf, you find yourself in uh, the man cave. Uh, so this one I followed is the only one in here. Correct. All right, that's fine. I'm going to be on him and convert back. Okay. Uh, give me a stealth check. Come on, baby. Do me right. <coughs> a, tw a natural 20. Oh, very nice. Uh, you skitter up behind him. Uh, now, keep in mind, I'll give you it this time because it's natural 20. It's not a lot of headroom there. That's all right. And I'm tall. I'm six foot. so Right. There's not a lot of headroom there. Yeah. So uh, you sneak up behind him like Dracula in every single movie ever, hovering over him. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to uh, basically knock him out if I can't. Lead pipe to the head? Uh, not lead pipe, just a little bit of that oh, Steve the, uh, Martin, little Steve Martin pink pants. You don't shot. Out. Nice. Now, I'm gonna, don't I, shot. I think I'm going to latch on to him just try to choke him down till he goes I, I think you need to enunciate better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, give him uh, the choke. All right. Colonel Mustard in the library with the rope. So I'm rolling to hit him. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'll give you performance. I will give you roll to hit him uh, and cause uh, non lethal damage. Okay. Uh, or I'll do a D12 against you. Your choice. Any one of those three. Options, baby. You got options. Yeah. Uh uh, performance or, or, or roll to hit him. I'll, I'll do performance. We, we can do a lifeline if you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I phone a friend? Oh, wait, sure. I don't have any. <laughs> that is a 19. Oh, yeah. Uh, you grab the little bastard, hike him up. <clears throat> he can't even scream for assistance. Uh, That's what I want. Give him about 30 seconds and he turns into a limp biscuit. He he feels just like Felix did earlier. 
I'm gonna leave Mr. Limp Biscuit. I'm gonna go ahead and and, and tie him up and gag him. Oh, mm. grab the bag and head back the way I came. You want to leave a note that says? <laughs> you want to leave, leave a note that says Man Fang did it? Shut up. <laughs> Uh, you should leave, you gotta leave a note that says you, I did this. No, I'm a, I left a note that says for a good time, call Felix. <laughs> As uh, you do all these things, you hear the soft footsteps coming down the stairwell. All right, I'm gonna get, get the bag and go. Okay. Uh, you will miss Mittens as she returns to her owner. Uh, you head down the narrow cave uh, and come face to face with uh, Adria Uh, and she brandishes a fillet knife Mm. who are you what are you doing what do you got in the bag I've got my stuff in the bag I came to collect it initiative 11 natural 20 Uh, what do you want to say after that and I said, I think you've got something that also belongs to me. No, do not take my precious chastity. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's Felix is the one you want. No, no, no. <laughs> That's gross. He's up at the pink house. He with says, you, with your mother. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. Go ahead and uh, give me a persuasion or intimidation roll, your choice. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't do either one, so it doesn't matter. That's a 13. Fair enough. She goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I don't want any trouble. I only have one item. Just give it back and I'll be on my way and we'll be done. No problem. Reaches in. <sighs> give me a constitution save. Come on, roll big, Grandpa. It's a plus three. That'd be a 19. You managed to put your hand up in front of your face, coating the inside of your hand with the dust that she blew at you. No effect. And she takes off running like uh, Count Ruku. Which way? Uh, Away from you. So she's running towards the entrance that you came in. Okay. Uh, The item that she'd taken out of the bag was sitting on the over on the bench. Is it still there? It is still there. I'm going to pick it up, throw it in my bag, and hustle my ass right on back up the way I originally came in. Anybody else seeing Santa? (laughs) Like a bad Santa? (laughs) Bad Santa. I was going to say that bad Santa here. Reverse Santa. He has a little black goatee. I got choked out one of them. Uh, (laughs) Scared the hell out of the other. Your delay and your necessity to bend over slows you down astronomically. As you reach the rungs, you see feet. And then you hear salam uh, as a trap door is put down. What would you like to do? Go up and push on the trap door. Trap door did not get latched. Uh, You find yourself out in the dark first level street by the docks. There's not a lot of people around because it's right around dinner-ish time. Uh, And uh, you look to the left, you look to the right, and they're gone. Okay. Did you have to look at the item? No, didn't even look at it. Just threw it in a bag. Fair enough. It's gonna be a bomb. Oh, I don't. I have no idea what it is. But a bomb. Nevertheless. <laughs> a bomb. I'm gonna, gonna head down to the docks. Explode. Oh, you're on the docks. Okay. Yeah. I'll look around and see if I don't see the other guys. You will not see the other guys. Is the boat that brought the Dip is there a twins? boat at the dock? Uh, how did you guys? You guys swam, didn't you? No, they had a boat bring them. They paid somebody to bring. Oh, them. that's that's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, well, there's there's a few boats more there, but there are no sailors or mariners there. Okay. Well, I'm just going to uh, be on my guard and and give it a few minutes and see if the other guys show up. Fair enough. Uh, Felix, you have uh, found Copius. Copius has found you. You guys stand outside of the apothecary slash witch Georgina. What would you like to do now? It's dark. 
Uh, we probably either need to get back to the ship because I think that was what our intention was. We were going to spend the night on the <clears throat> ship. My intention was to spend the night in the pink house, <clears throat> but I don't think that I have enough coin in my purse to get back up there. Maybe you or enough of it off. I. Hmm. I highly like, doubt that. It's gonna be like the one scene from Pee Wee where he's gonna, where the old and it was like the bunch of like the old farmhouse or something. Hey, Leaf, um, pay attention. They're still down by nine. You knew they'd make the extra point. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Uh, okay, so you guys want to head back down? Yeah, uh, I tell Felix that Georgina said we'd be able to pick up more stuff since I saw her right after, uh, right before. Perfect. I yeah. Without yeah. the stuff, I don't think I should go back to the pink house. I, I'm quite exhausted after my experience you don't have you enough can't. dexterity <laughs> ah, that's right even <laughs> uh, yeah which one of you wants to roll against me in a d12 felix does oh felix is exhausted but he will yes eight seven my rolls are crap today uh as you head down you notice a tall figure down on the docks doing this awesome. The moonlight, partial moonlight, not full moon, not yet, uh, is bathing the port. It's very beautiful as it comes in right between the opening that you guys came in. It's like two hands holding an orb. So we can identify that, or we can reason that it's one of our party members, but can we identify who? Not yet. You'll have to get down a level. I'm going to say to Copius, let's sneak up on him and play a joke. So let's stick to the shadows. Thoughts? I'm happy to stick to the shadows. That's not a problem. I'll take stealth checks from both of you. Sweet. One, a dirty twenty. Okay, my 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 basic perception. Uh, where in the hell is it? I had a twelve. It's your wisdom, passive wisdom. My passive wisdom. My passive perceptions. Eighteen. Very nice. Roll a d20. Make sure you don't roll a one. I rolled a natural 20. Oh, yeah. You hear somebody sneaking up behind you. Do you want to spin around or do you just want to lay flame them? I'm going to spin around and pull my scimitar. Very nice. Uh, Copious, you're able to sneak up rather quickly. But as Felix steps down onto the dock, he steps on some corn, making a noise, and <laughs> boink, a scimitar comes right at your face. What's so bad is the corn fell out of Felix. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, 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 that's, that's what oh, he sees. Oh, <laughs> there's, there's, there's nothing oh. going to be staying up there. <laughs> he took one big step and it fell out. Hey, Felix. <laughs> Felix. Yeah. Felix can no longer do this. Without depositing <laughs> coins, somewhere. That's a, the sound the sound of Felix farting. Uh, a light breeze. Fortunately, Leaf the Druid maintains his grip and does not cleave your oh, face God. off. Uh, you three are united, reunited, and it feels so good. Uh, as Leaf will tell you, <laughs> who who's saying that? There ain't nobody here. Uh, peaches and herb, or something. Yeah, peaches and herb. I it think. was. It was. So uh, you three I'm are. Yes, he's Herb. <laughs> <laughs> it could be Peaches now. <laughs> it could be Peaches now. Let me just say my prison wallet's a little bit extra large today. Your prison <laughs> wallet prison is bag. a backpack. I got an idea. A prison backpack. <laughs> you know, Fen prison Fen duffel bag. <laughs> Phineas has his satchel. We got Felix. That's true. You can hide everything up there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anything. Absolutely anything. Uh, hey, uh, which shelf is this on? <laughs> uh, while you guys ponder that, Manfang, give me a constitution check. Let's see how your night goes. Already. 18. Uh, actually, the floor is rather comfortable for you. Nice. So, uh, you will very wake up, soft and soft. You will wake up not exhausted. Uh, so you three are back on the docks. Uh, your choices are limited. Uh, there are several taverns here that maybe you can find a sailor in. <laughs> <or not. clears throat> 
I think uh, it's the admiral's responsibility to uh, get us passage to our vessel. Yeah. Uh, actually, Copius will go right into a, one of the bars. It seems like it has doing a good business and see if I can find someone to row us out to the ship. You got to sure. walk in, burst open the doors and go, hey, does anybody know how to sail? The, uh, hey, I'm looking for a sailor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, as you do that, you're able to walk in the door easily. You go through the door, yell, I'm looking for a sailor. And then you notice a tune is playing in the background. Da 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 da. And you find yourself in the blue oyster. <laughs> this could go uh, one of so many ways. Police Academy, if you guys aren't familiar with that one. <laughs> do I see any heads turn my way as I announce I'm looking for a sailor? Only all of them. That's what I expected. The, uh, I said, and I'm going to call out to the whole room, looking for someone to sail my crewmate. I need semen. <laughs> I need hearty semen. <laughs> downhill from there. D12 against me, Copious. Uh, <laughs> 11. It's like it's like from Austin Powers and when they're in the like giant metal like Dr. Evil. That's it's right. My submarine's long, hard, and full of semen. <laughs> uh, a bearded halfling, which is extremely rare, starts to guzzle and chucks his bottle uh, up against the wall. And he goes, <laughs> I'm a sailor. I can pilot you. I thought sure he's going to say she chucks her bottle up against the wall. I, I did consider it, but the wall came up male. So. Uh, this bearded halfling, truly an anomaly. Uh, in all your travels, you have not seen this before. Uh, he's got to have some dwarf in him, uh, unlike Felix, who had a lot of halfling in him. Uh, but this guy is drunk as shit. <laughs> as long as he has a boat, we're good to go. I said, he, all right. He does all right, have a Captain, boat. let's go. Mahomes just ran the ball for first down and got his clock rung. But, dude, he got up and his knees just folded. Yeah. Well, I think they're going to go. And it wasn't helmet to helmet. No, it wasn't. He just so. he just got hit. Look, his head hit the ground. Yeah. It is. Well, he's already got that gimpy ankle from earlier. Uh, oh. So, uh, Leaf and Felix, did you two stay outside? Yep. I ain't going in there. I'm not going in there asking for. I've had enough with low ceilings. Uh, you are passed by uh, two halflings that look rather familiar. Not wearing red vests. Not wearing red vests, but they look familiar in the form of the ones that I left down in the tunnels. These are two males, so uh, mm. no, the one is probably still tied up. I'm going to stand there with my scimitar out. Gentlemen, no more fooling around these little people. Yeah, I'm not sure why they would look familiar to me. <laughs> why did you look over your shoulder when you were up in the bank house? <laughs> uh, the one stops, keeps pointing at Leaf. Are you a gambling man? Nope, <laughs> I am not. That's too bad. We need one more for a game of chance. No. Do you nobody, know anybody? Nobody here. And I'm going to look at Felix and say, don't even think about it. Uh, My friend, do you know anybody who's a gambler? Or we will leave you here Perhaps, permanently. but permanently. I'm, I'm quite tired at the moment, so I think I'm going to have to pass on this opportunity. Fair enough. Uh, he does not have the Welsh accent, so he, you surmise, is not from here. Uh, good day to you, my friends. And they walk off. Uh, they come upon a guard unit. Don't you gamble. Uh, and the guards hold a low discussion with them. Uh, moments later, Copius walks out with... Uh, uh, who's the guy in Andy Griffith? Otis. <laughs> Otis, Otis, Otis. Otis, the oh. ship captain. Oh, boy. oh uh, yeah. And he says, whoa, 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 whoa. I've I, I got to pee. I've got to pee. 
I'd have been more impressed if you did, you know, the barber. Oh yeah. Floyd. Yeah. yeah. Well, we all know I'm really a master of voices here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Otis, the ship captain says, I've got to pee. Okay. Now we can go. <laughs> uh, and he heads over to his boat. Felix is going to mumble to Copius. This is the guy that you, this is the <laughs> best sailor in there? Best sailor in the bar. Okay. I want to put my boat. I think it's in the water. But. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to go back in the bar. I'm going to ask. I'll be right back. I'm going to start is there another room. bar nearby? Oh, yeah. There's like two or three here. All right. What? I'm going to go to the next bar. <laughs> uh, as you go into the next bar, uh, Leaf and Felix. Uh, are you guys going in or staying out? Staying out. Uh, I'm going to stay out and nurse my wound. <laughs> You're going to help me guard this satchel. Uh, are you talking about my yeah, prison what? backpack? <laughs> he's got he's got the Prison's satchel the and a burlap sack. Both. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just stand here and try to maintain composure. I'm still feeling a little bit weak after my hour-long massage. <laughs> and I'm going to look at that. Face. What's the matter with you? What's that smell? <laughs> that is the smell of the pink house. <laughs> you know, it the, lingers. Maybe you ought to take a dip. Did you know that the human anus can stretch up to eight inches wide? Hey, 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 hey. That, and, a, and, a ra- right there. <laughs> and a raccoon can fit into some right. holes that are five <laughs> inches wide. So a raccoon could go up there. What do you if you want on the internet? The hell? You're bad you to check your search engine. No more YouTube, fella. That's uh, not no. even that. You're done. Uh, I'm telling Kobe. your grandmother right now. Copious, uh, you go into facts. the rusty hook. Uh, do you want to do the same entrance? Pretty much, yeah. It worked so well the last time. I figured second time's a charm. You yell out, D12 against me. Nine. Five. Nobody even turns around to greet you. <laughs> okay. And he reverses right back out. Fair enough. A female follows you out. She is an attractive female. This Maybe charisma cool. 19-ish oh, no. female. Says, excuse me, short, light, and acceptable. What Wait. are you looking for? <laughs> Is she a halfling or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's a halfling. She's a stout halfling. <laughs> she and the constable are stout halflings. Okay. None of that light foot crap for them. They're biggins. <laughs> That's why she's got a 19 charisma. They're like a hardy woman. They got a huge chunks of land, laddie. Uh, she asks uh, if you're in need of transportation and where might that be? I am to the ship. Out in the harbor here, out in the estuary. Just looking for a taxi ride. The strange ship? The strange ship, yes. I think my friends and I can help you with that. Oh, crud. <laughs> my friends. Uh, Fe- Felix, you're looking at this girl and it's like, dang, she looks familiar. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> That, okay, that would be great. Uh, which skiff is, boat is yours? And he's gonna. Oh, I, I, I don't have a ship. I don't have a vessel. I know people who do. Well, this just gets better every second. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll be waiting over there, and I'm going to point the opposite direction of where we're actually waiting. Sure. I'll be right back. Sounds good. Copus is immediately going to turn. <laughs> and run back to the others and tell them, I think I have it solved. And then he's going to try to hide in shadows. <laughs> Fair enough. I've solved the mystery. Uh, Felix and Leaf, give me a perception check. Oh, crap. Using something uh, different. 26. Ah, uh, 10. Uh, Felix, you're talking with Copius, but Leaf, you notice that the young individual that Copius was talking to is running up the flights of stairs to the higher levels. I'm going to look at Copius and say, what kind of deal would you make? 
she's headed up the stairs. Oh, I, I think we're in trouble. We probably need to just take a ship, a boat. Well, then let's go. Let's just grab right. a boat and go. We'll worry about it later. Could you rent a boat? There's no way to rent push one. Push it back to shore. So I, I, I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm heading down to a, whatever small boat down here. Uh, roll me a D8, and that is the boat you're going to take. Oh, crap. I'll probably get a garbage scow. Six. You take boat number six. Uh, it's made out of rubber. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is a copper-colored boat. Copper. Uh, it is a flat-bottom boat. Uh, since you are two large humans... Uh, it's going to take a wee bit of effort to go ahead and uh, push you free from the sandy beach that it's on. Uh, everybody roll performance. Unless you roll a one, you will be able to, albeit grudgingly, get it back. <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> Good. Fifteen. Yeah, I'm glad I got that out of the way. How, how, so we have three like human-sized people and then a gnome in this halfling boat? Two human, human people. Sized people. There's just three of you. Man Fang's asleep on the floor. Oh, yep. that's right. I'm sorry, Man Fang. I thought you were with us. <laughs> nope, I'm not. I'm uh, having a good time. Despite Leaf's yeah. best effort, um, you do manage to get the boat underway. Head out. Uh, all three of you roll D20. Let's make sure you don't hit a reef. Uh, Six. Nine. You guys managed to get out to your fine craft. Uh, okay. Go ahead and give me dex checks to go ahead and board the top of it. Uh, Sooner or later, I'll get the roll I want. One. There it is. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> oh, what did I get? 13. Uh, 10 or above works. Copious okay. goes for a dip. We'll uh, face the little shit out. The hmm. other two are on top of the tortoise shelled with spikes uh, canopy. What would you like to do? I'm going to knock on the ship and yell down to them, tell them that we're back with their stuff. Open up. One, Robert of Zeppelin. Two, Phineas. Three, Pierre. Four, uh, Tony Dakota. Uh, five, nobody. Okay, before, so D ten. Before we go in D10. there, what are we doing with the boat that we stole to get out to our ship? Are we going to push it, it off? I'm just going to push it off. So it's floating. Just, <laughs> in the yeah, just let float free. Wait a second. Guy. Was it just the three of us? What about the attractive female? I thought she was piloting us out. Hey, 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 put it back in your pants, Philip. <laughs> Philip. Nope. No. She was yeah. running away. Ah. Yeah. Ten. Ten. Uh, that's a one. So you get Robert. Oh, wait a minute. Ten? Yeah. No, nobody answers. Well, I'll take the hilt of my <laughs> scimitar and really beat on the hatch with it. Uh, D20. Let's see if you put another hole in it. Yeah. I can... oh! I'm going to yell at him for smacking the shit. That'd be a 14. Go ahead and give me another D10. Let's see who you get this time. How are these hatches? I rolled locked? a one. It's like a slide. Uh, so uh, we don't have any keys that would open it. No. No. Robert made sure that he secured it. You hear the gruff voice of Robert of Zeppelin. Who the hell's out there? What the hell do you want? It's Leaf. We're back. We've got the, the stuff back that the halfling stole. What's the password? <laughs> Let me in or I'll set fire to the ship. Click, click, click. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, it's unlocked. <laughs> you got to speak in his terms, you know. Robert, he probably would have said, hey, that's my gig. Set fire deal. So stuff. let's go at, as soon as everybody's in. I'm going to shut that hatch and lock it again. Sure. With the fishing boat. Let it go. We got our own skiffs to get into shore. We didn't have to have that one. So. so so you guys have the burlap sack. And the satchel. And the satchel. Uh, Pierre wants to know if you've got his stuff. What yeah. stuff was that, Pierre? That would be that satchel right there, sir. Well, if you see it, why in the hell are you asking me if I got your stuff? I'm making sure that it's mine. I would like it back, please. What's it worth to you? 
Um, you let them in here to steal it. I did not let them in here. Your and then we had to go rescue this stuff, and then you killed a bunch <clears throat> of them. I didn't kill anybody. And it's not what I'm telling everybody. The halflings on the shore want your head, buddy. Go ahead and give me an insight check. Oh, I don't. I don't have any insight to speak of. That's a uh, eleven. Uh, Felix and Copius, I'll give you insight checks if you want. Sure. <clears throat> Fifteen. Twenty-two. You both recognize uh, you're on the fringe of a mutiny here. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to. If the satchel's laying there, I'm going to say, Leaf, give him the satchel. Give everybody their crap back. Let's figure out what we're going to do in the morning. And, and I'll say, not a problem. I give. I was going to get back to him. I just don't like the little son of a bitch. So, I'll no, throw the satchel at him. You can knock him down for all I care, but let's I just tried. Here. Uh, do you want to dump the burlap sack? Yep. Uh, everybody looks. Everybody reaches in. They all grab their shit. But Tony Dakota... I am missing something. What? There's a cylindrical tube about this long, and it twists at one end. Oh, I've got that. It's right here in my pants. <laughs> and I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> Pulls it like a grater. Uh, you also... I, this is... Okay, I was just joking, Tony. Calm down. You also so... notice the box is still on the floor. I'll pick the box up. Okay. and look at it and examine it. It's an inlaid wood box. Uh, it's got a nice uh, light finish, but around every corner, because it is square, it's got a darker inlay. On the right side, there is a key. On the back side, there are two hinges indicating that it opens up and the key is on the right. Uh, I'm going to try to open it. Sure. Everybody, D20, Wisdom. For me, that'd be a 27. 19. Copious falls asleep. Robert falls asleep. Phineas falls asleep. Uh, Pierre does not. Tony Dakota does not. Uh, they just slump over like they're narcoleptics. Does the, the box tune, open? Yes, it's a soft tune emitting from it, and you notice that the key is slowly turning. Inside, there's a strange gear with dots on it and a loose piece of metal that dings, causing the tune. It's a music box. Okay. I'm going to stop it. Closing the lid or going to manually stop it? I'll, I'll close the lid. Okay. The music stops. Okay. Snoring is heard. I'll slip that into my satchel. Are they still out cold or did they out wake cold, back man. up? Okay. They're going to wake up feeling quite refreshed. Tony Dakota didn't go to sleep, right? He did not. He wants to know where his rod I'm is. I'm going to tell him, so Tony, this is, I, I followed him down into the caverns or tunnels under the docks. And followed one of them down there, one showed up with a satchel, and I, this burlap bag, I followed him back to a basement, knocked him out, took the bag, and brought it back here. That's it. Nobody's been in it. I asked so for I don't know where your tube is at. I asked for compensation. Well, you need to go talk to some halflings. There's a boat over there you can use. It's right out, just outside the ship. He walks over, opens up the hatch. I'm not swimming to get that boat. We will be going back tomorrow to, to the cartographer. Thing. We yeah. can go sort this out in the morning. Yeah. Fine. That'd be my best suggestion. That's, go with them. Tell, yeah. tell a magistrate. Do you guys want to lift the sleeping bodies and put them in their racks or just leave them in the hall? Yeah, we'll put them in their racks. Okay. So uh, the <laughs> over. Oh, morning okay. dawns anew. Man Fang. 
Oh, oh wait, hold on. Uh, when I got back to my rack, I wanted to open up that box that I stole from the pink house. Mm -hmm. I'm right back. And figure out what's in it. Uh, potpourri. Damn it. <laughs> but it smells just like the room that you were in. And memories flood, uh, then, back, flood back to you. Then it was a very good pick for me. Yes, yes. yes so Felix will be very thrilled to have that potpourri and cherish it forever. That would be an Adventure Sense Bordello edition. <laughs> Maybe rose petals. Uh, because this stuff, man, even after you open it, it's a good year. So... Yeah, if they have that as a Bordello edition, I might have to get some. You know, I... I think they might have one. They've got a lot of different scents. Uh, there's another plug. So, but yeah, do they, I'll, do I'll, they I'll have... see if they do, and I'll see if I can grab you some. I was gonna say, uh, Felix Manhor didn't really sell that well, though. No, it didn't. It smelled like shame. <laughs> shame and regret. <laughs> regret. It smelled like regret. Shame, regret, and kind of a tinge of medicine <laughs> <laughs> and plastic. Uh, Man Fang, morning dawns anew. The sun is coming in through your window. You look over and Haggis Crapstain is in a contorted position and snoring loudly. Your stomach just growls. Uh, you have slept through the night on the floor, but it was very comfortable. You might want to come back here again. I'll make note of that. All right. I'll wake up August and tell him we're going to eat. So okay. wake up. Uh, you go down. You are still on the first floor, first level. Uh, there are three taverns there. All right. Well, I guess I go on to the first one. Yeah, you got to you gotta bend down. Uh, the first one, for you, is Anchors Away the one that the others did not visit yet. Uh, this is kind of a rustic tavern, um, kind of a little bit upscale, but not so much so. Uh, they have a steaming pile of something uh, cooking. Go ahead and give me a constitution roll. Let's see if it's a steaming pile of deliciousness or crap. It's crap because you're in Welshland. Ah. Uh, that is... 14, that is a 14, yeah. Well, uh, noting that your palate is not that specific. Uh, yeah, uh, that food. smells good. It's food, I guess. Uh, Hog has got the same role, so he's fine with that. All right, I guess we'll go over there. We'll you guys are hunched over. You find a small table. Uh, it's right at the window that overlooks the dock. You can see your ship out uh, in the bay. But you also see a rather large amount of fishermen who seem to be quite vexed at an issue. Can we hear them vexing? Not through the glass. They're all huddled like a lynch mob. So I'll eat. I guess I'll like eat quickly then. Sure. And go out and see what they're doing. Uh, as you walk out, you bump into. <laughs> Constable Lori and his daughter. Oh, how nice. <laughs> she puts her face right about your belly button due to the size difference. And the constable. Really? Really? This is how we're going to do this. This is not how we're going to do this. I push her off and I walk away. So you shove my daughter. <laughs> No, I'm not insulting her. I'm not insulting her. Just I am not ready for such commitments. I am a man of traveling. So are you a Your man daughter. whore? <laughs> <laughs> no, I would not be. Your doctor you is a poor, nice. You have poor dexterity. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I am nothing to this master. To this to this master of dexterity, and I put and I grab I grab Harkis's shoulder and I point to him and say that my friend and I will be. On our way. You know you're grabbing his shoulder like this, right? Exactly. <laughs> Me and my friend. Uh, she is not enamored with him. But she is enamored with you. Good. I don't care. <laughs> so I'm going to say, we'll be on our way, I guess. You want to hold sorry. the door open for him, you pig? <laughs> yeah, I guess I will. 
There you go. You hold the door open. He gives you the side eye. Keeps an eye on you. They go in for breakfast outside. You and Haggis can overhear. I left it here. It was it was born. I'm certain that it was here. There's um, be a lost boat. Oh. We lost the boat. Who stole the boat? All right. Three, three jackasses. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder who they could have been. <laughs> uh, they look at you two, uh, and one of them. You're odd. Haggis is even. That's an eight. Looks at Haggis and says, it's probably this guy. All right. Good. Great. Right. This is great. At least it's not me. Um, I'm going to say, what do you mean it was us? What, what, what are you guys pointing at us for? You're new. You stole our boat. Why would I steal a boat? I'm on the mainland. Because. <laughs> Because why? I'm on the mainland. I slept. I ate. I would not want to steal a boat. If I wanted to steal a boat, I'd be on another boat. And I'm not on another boat. I'm not going to make you roll on that one. Uh, you got him perplexed. Uh, and his, yeah, I see. And his associates, <laughs> uh, if they stole your boat, where would it be? Uh, so they immediately dismiss you as potential thieves and go on to a rampage trying to find those bastards from the red vest all right i guess we gotta do some information getting about these red vest people <laughs> or did we know we got about all of our stuff now so i guess we can well i don't know that you either. don't know that i don't you know, know i can that. tell so, yeah. that his, his intelligence is really coming to the fore now so you're starting to grow Start, man. starting it's to think good. starting to think yeah it's, it's coming full circle uh give me a perception check man thing <sighs> Sixteen. you spot a half lane in religious apparel over at the landing at the first section stairs, worshiping uh, the mosaic in the pavement. All right. Sean Connery. Oh, yeah. Forgot. <laughs> oh. I will politely, politely walk up to her and ask, who is this man? Or do I already know who this is? It is a female. You do not know who it is. Uh, after a few religious uh, incantations, uh, the priestess rises and says, this is Lear, our patron deity. Okay. Oh, Today <laughs> is his day. Oh. Looks like Felix. <laughs> no. Not emaciated <laughs> enough. <laughs> I think there's a few mosaic pieces missing. Back oh. on the boat, Leaf, Felix, and Copious. Uh, Robert wants to know how you got the stuff back and where are the maps and incriminating pictures? I don't know anything about maps. You'll have to ask Copious and Felix. They took the maps? Mm -hmm. uh, we need the maps because we have to go visit the cartographer today to get a discount on the maps that we need to buy. And the pictures. Pictures? What pictures? Yeah. Go, look in, pictures. go look in a pink house. They're probably hanging in there now. <laughs> yeah, they are. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, Felix I think moved. it's the closed circuit camera images. <laughs> <laughs> I just assume that's why you stole them to begin with. I don't know what you guys are talking about. All we did was we just sat on the bed and talked. I'm thinking if there was a, a good artist in the room with Felix in the pink house, there may be some new pictures circulating. Oh, paint, paint me like one of your Frenchmen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robert will also express oh, that God. Tony Dakota is not at all happy. He is <laughs> asking for a bigger share of the Miawi Wowie, and Robert feels that it might be unreasonable and thinks that we should just kill him. Hmm. Well, then we don't have to go back and get his eight-inch tube. I don't wonder what he does with that eight-inch tube. Yeah, I'm, let's not speculate. I, you know, you... there's a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, little man. Thanks a lot. Wait, wait, till I talk to your dad. He'll be so proud. 
He will. Actually, he will. <laughs> exactly. Son, I that's, told that's him a... that to begin with. Do we... I'm proud I... of you, Sonny Boy. Uh, let, let, me, let me just give you one little bit of advice. Shit that's said in the game stays in the game. Ah, Lake and Las Yeah, it's not like it's recorded. <laughs> it's broadcast on YouTube for anyone to find if they want to watch it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I actually forgot about that when, when I was saying that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't worry. I've already emailed it to your school. Thank you. You're going to no, be don't worry, you know, boy. I, I, I'm sure it's a raccoon. Yeah. Uh, so back in game, uh, mm -hmm. in order to solve the mystery of the missing tube, Copius is asking what what does it do just so we can figure out where someone may have taken it to either sell it or to use it? He will not say. Well, it makes it a little difficult to solve this, Scooby. Go ahead and uh, persuade Tony to tell you. Rup roll, Raggy. Uh, 19 before I add any bonuses. <sighs> it is... Is it, a it is a ciphering stick that allows me to go ahead and conduct business in my homeland for, shall we say, accounts receivable. Okay, now we have something to go with here. <clears throat> so, would it be obvious to whoever stole it that that's what it's used for? It would not be. All mm. right, so knick-knack for somebody who picked it up. Knick knack paddywhack. It it will look like uh, an extending give, give the telescope a bone. Yep. that can be twisted, <laughs> and there are several marks on it. So the marks, when they line up, when it's pulled so out, like you're give a different your idea. It's a ciphering tool. Yep. All right. So now we know what to work with. Kind of a tubular abacus, huh? Yes. So we're going back ashore to pick up some goods we ordered. Uh, that's our intent today anyways. And we need to find where the, the charts went, the, the maps. Uh, does Leaf have any idea? Is there any clue from his adventures where he recovered the other goods? Uh, I ended up in a basement, but I didn't go upstairs. And it, I got a rough idea. When I went down, I went to the left. So I was on the docks and I would have been headed to the left for, I don't know, I have to ask the DM how many steps. About 450 yards. About 450 yards I went. Now, are those imperial yards? or uh, Anyway, so can you get us half the king whole... yards? <laughs> well, you got to remember half of them. I was a rat. So 450 so rat ones. yards? So like four feet. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I went about 30 feet. No, about 450 yards through a tunnel. And so can you get basement. us back to the tunnel? If we can get to the tunnel, I can get you the tunnel. Getting you the tunnel is not a problem. Can we what get about... to the tunnel? You gotta be ready because they've got their own little tricks and things, and they got them? booby traps. That's why I said. Yeah. <laughs> but but don't say booby around Felix. Damn it! I keep <laughs> warning you guys. What booby? Okay, here's what I think we should do. Let's go back to the pink house first. Then we can continue let's with not, the rest of our day. Let's not do that. We'll just they have coffee in the lobby. It'll you know, be great. this is kind of makes me think of the old, you know, the you the the Ulysses thing or the Odyssey thing or whatever the hell it was. Yep. We're gonna need to tie his ass to the mask and dip something in wax so that the J sirens Jason call the Argonauts. so the sirens <laughs> call don't do any good. Copi copious and the Bubanauts. That's it. That's it well right there. That's it. How about this? Perhaps we need to go and inquire if this town has a pawn shop. I like that idea. Yep. The people with the red vest might be moving the goods quickly Somebody's, they gotta so be that selling. they don't get caught with it. Yep, absolutely. Let's find out who they're fencing this stuff through. Is Tony coming with us ashore so he can identify his device? I think he better. I think he better, too. Let's leave yeah. Robert here to, to lock things down and not let anybody in. Of course, you know, if they get back on the boat, he's going to kill them. Ain't no two ways about that Don't shit. Be it. That's fine. Is he in international waters? That's what he's going to claim. He is going uh, to claim uh, <laughs> uh, pirates. Pirates. 
Sovereignty. Uh, he's going to claim community. sovereignty. sovereignty. He's gonna, he'll claim sovereignty. He'll. This will be his island. Diplomatic immunity. Shoot me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, he will go with okay. you to identify the item. Okay. Right, Only works. Pag is here. The four of us will go with Tony. Go ashore. First, see if we can find if there's someone who buys and sells, you know, used items, pawn shop. Uh, and if that doesn't work, last ditch will hit the the seller, the sewer that the seller that Leaf was in. Sure. Uh, you don't have a boat. We have the landing. We've got craft. we've got our own. We do have yes. two landing craft. How many so, people can ride in one? I'll, I'll give you all four. It'll be a tight squeeze. Well, right. But can we have someone uh, to stay with the boat to make sure nobody? Robert will be staying. But, and Phineas and yeah. Who else do we got? Do we still have Nick, Nick and stay Bob the to do turtle? We, yeah. I just want somebody to stay with the landing. To Tony will say, I can stay with the landing boat while you go find the item, and I can confirm or deny that's what Perfect. Okay. Okay, that works. So uh, you guys are headed to shore. Man Fang, give me a perception check. All righty. Uh, 17. 17. That is his perception, so that's 22. Very nice. Uh, as uh, the uh, priest, uh, worshiper, the person. priestess, uh, I want to say, uh, the, as the female priestess slash Jehovah's Witness tries to convert you, Would you, you like notice to join out of the Jehovah's corner of your eye that there is a boat approaching uh, filled with a variety of sized people. As it gets closer, you notice a tabaxi, two humans, and a halfling. Ah. Oh. Oh. I think I know those guys. <laughs> I'm going to run over to them and yell, hey, do you remember me? Uh, there's Who? an idiot come running down the dock, waving like Steve Martin and the jerk at you guys. Do you want to choose a different sloop? I had this Forrest Gump picture in my head. You know? <laughs> Lieutenant Dan! Lieutenant Dan! <laughs> I, I'll just tell uh, Tony to keep going to another sloop. Okay. <laughs> You're going to have to run, Man Fang, because they have taken a right. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll run as fast as I can. Uh, Tony Dakota takes the last available sloop slip uh, and parks it just as uh, Forest Fang comes running up to you guys. <laughs> Uh, you also notice a collection of halflings. Run, man, These guys run. probably stole it. Oh, uh, great. Are they, we noticed that as soon as we port. Copious will hop right off the, the landing skiff onto the slip. Uh, give me a dex check. <laughs> oh, plunk. Plop. Uh, 12. Good enough. You don't stick the landing, but uh, good yeah, I clamber up. I mean, I'm only three feet tall. Yep. So I'll say, I'll say, what's going on here? Is this a is this a crowd? Is this a parade? Were you waiting on us? He's going. You to stole our ship. Stole your ship? Why would I steal your ship? I have a ship. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Look at that ship out there. It's the best ship ever. <laughs> the angry mob turns to the guy who lost his boat. And says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he is still adamant that you clearly, being new people and damn immigrants, have uh, stolen his rightful property. They're I coming here to take our jobs. <laughs> All right, Donald. <laughs> we need, to, I'm we need to build a you, net. You need to look at these little people running around these red vests on. They've been <laughs> robbing everybody blind around. Did you guys miss his comment? <laughs> we need to build a net. <laughs> Build a net. Get those dirty immigrants out. God, is but who's going to pay for it? <laughs> they will. The damn Irish down to the south, <laughs> they'll pay for it. <laughs> Build a net. That is All right, an acre each, but nothing for the Irish. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so uh, the, the one guy is still adamant that clearly you stole his boat. He has no leg to stand on and no friends because... They've all been wasting their time. They all get in their boats. It's fishing time. They're headed out. All right. They're gone. We're, Tony's going to, he's tied up here. He's going to stay here with his landing skiff. Mm -hmm. We're going to 
find someone who was not in the crowd, like walk away from the pier and ask if there is a pawn shop or something similar in this village. I'm not in the crowd. A female, uh, Felix, D12 against me. Did you see that? They just picked him in the end zone. Ooh, Six. 11. Six. Uh, oh, that, that pretty 19 charisma girl says, I know where there's a pawn shop. Oh, my God. It's the oh, South. Jesus. Oh, you do? Really? Felix thought- is all ears after having a nice night to himself with the uh, magic box and day- he dreamt about it all night. <laughs> I'm not going to is- say it. <laughs> Should I, I take my headphones off? Should I take my headphones off? Yeah, yeah. Headphones. <laughs> Earmuffs. Earmuffs. <laughs> uh, yes, the 19 Charisma, who still looks strangely familiar, but you aren't sure why, uh, looks at Copious and says, you didn't wait for me. We did. We waited on that. You never came back. Oh, I came back. Well, where came, were you? We were over there. I, I came back uh, to uh, help you out as she looks at Felix. <laughs> yeah, she's looking at you for the right reasons. Yeah, that's right. I even yeah. brought my mountain climbing gear. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, gross. But yeah. Spikes on her boots. There are children she is She's like a lineman Felix. going up the pole. <laughs> <laughs> she is Pray speaking appropriate. Felix's language, and he is losing uh, focus on what <laughs> at the task at hand. And I'm going to say, Felix, what the hell is that smell? I know, right? <laughs> it smells I think, great. I, I think it's the smell it of something like falling a, off. <laughs> it smells like an o- open ses- septic tank. He shakes his leg again. I'm not sure what out. that is. <laughs> but well, it, it, Kobe, it, it, how do you want to convince her? Convince her about that? Oh, I'll try a persuasion. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I forgive you. You know, we had to find our own way. Fortunately, I forgive you. Someone came back and picked us up from the ship. We're fine. Forgive it. You know, no problem. How about you show us to your pawn shop that, and we'll call it even. Is that okay with you, dear? Oh, God, looks at Felix. Yeah, we waited for you. I feel you all bad night. that I did not come through for you. I it's quite all right. We waited such a long time for you to return, blah blah blah. Uh yeah. Why don't you take us back to your pawn shop right now and we can go and You can go back to my pawn shop. See the hardcore pawn that you got. I know I keep thinking this is like Lola from the song, and we Ooh. keep saying it's a girl. Uh, uh, yeah, no, it's it's a girl. <laughs> You'll find out. Uh, level two, to the left, almost all the way down yeah. to the end. It's in a slight depression. So as, as the row of businesses are straight across, the last one in line is a little bit down. Does this person resemble at all the naked halfling we saw swimming underwater? Mm-mm. Nope, uh, no red does does Doesn't resemble the person that Felix met at the pink house? Does it resemble the one that I she shot in the She does right? have a slight resemblance to the lady from the pink house. So does she, let's does, find out. If we remember does, correctly, to the right is the cartographer and the apothecary on the second level. So we're going to go up to the second the level. Cartographer is to the left. The apothecary is to the right. You're going past the cartographer on the way so this is perfect this is on the way we gotta go to the we gotta get our maps before we go to the cartographer i know but this okay. i'm just saying everything's on the We're second going to the pawn shop first pawn wow. shop that takes care of that uh maybe we'll find the maps in the pawn shop mm, yeah pink house pawn shop then the cartographer we all are in agreement perfect pink house is Let's not go. in that list Pink House is not on that. Oh, no, it's the head of the list. It's the first place. We already it's agreed to that the on the boat place. ride over. We totally didn't agree to that. I'm pretty sure we did. Front. So we nope, the Pink House is not on the, the Pink House is at the end. How about that? Pink House at the end. We can't go to the apothecary if we don't have our gear. We gotta be able to pay yeah, for stuff Let's get every we'll take care of business today and then I'll just spend the night in the pink house tonight and then we'll be back on the sea tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. So pawn shop first. Pawn shop first. So we agree. Pink house, pawn shop, cartographer, back to the pink house for night. 
pawn shop. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> pawn shop first. To the pawn, pawn shop. shop first. My dear. Uh, oh. I'm going to ask this attractive female, does she have a name? Do you Suzette. have an age, young lady? Suzette. Suzette. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's your name, little girl? <laughs> We're not going to do that again. <laughs> Uh, What's wrong, little girl? (laughs) As as you reach the end of level two, uh, you see the three golden or brass balls hanging off the side of the building, indicating it is a pawn shop. The door opens up, and if you had a set of those, you wouldn't be sick there, Felix. Yeah, no problem. You'd have to stand all the time. Uh, A gorgeous woman walks out and addresses Suzette, and she goes, "This is my sister." Oh, it, Felix, like you know exactly who the sister is. And she's like, Shauna. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, sister? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I see. Yeah, why not there? <laughs> Shauna, I think, is the attractive one's name from uh, the Pink House. It is. Why not, Shauna? Uh, He needs the medicine. (laughs) Oh. The what now? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Suzette takes a step back. uh, And you can tell there is a demeanor change. Oh. I see. Did oh. you? Uh, 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 <laughs> and Sean they, uh, 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 they start. They start throwing like baseball signs, like fastball. Uh, and, excuse me, Sean. <laughs> could uh, might I interject? Could you explain to me what medicine you mean? The I assure you, I did not take anything last night. There were no supplements. That was pure. Felix. Master of Dexterity. Suzette leans in. Master of Dexterity. (laughs) Ah, yes. (laughs) The scent of is residual. It's like asparagus. (laughs) Only not as bad. (laughs) Um, I think I'm going to turn to Copious and say, I have a new destination that we need to add to the list. The <clears throat> apothecary. <laughs> got something else that I need to cure, apparently. And I want to correct Sean and say, no, that's more like kimchi the day after you eat it. Uh, I'm not sure who this kimchi person is, but <laughs> that is fine. Uh, she hustles hey, Suzette wrong. out of here, but Suzette's still kind of on the fence. But, Suzette, wait for me. I'll be back. I'll be back uh, at sunset. I'll be back. With, with two bags. Uh-huh. <laughs> with two bags. I'll be there uh, for the whole night this time. The pawn shop is open. All Perfect. right. Let's go on in and start browsing the goods. Uh, you walk in and it appears as though the owner has just come in himself. He's got a heavy Siemens oh. overcoat on. Uh, Spats McGee, how do you, how do you be today? Bats, huh? I, I we'll tell him we're in the we're looking in the market for maybe some uh, navigational maps. Or I've got everything that you ever need, my friend. Hang on, let me take my coat off. Takes off his coat and he's got a bright red vest on. Oh, good. <laughs> all right. What, Who what sent you? Navigational tools do you want, my friend? Let's start with some uh, maps and charts. Uh, You're in luck, on- my friend. I just got a shipment in today. And say. we're also looking for a knickknack, a friend of ours, a family heirloom. Not worth a lot, but he's anxious to have it back. Uh, you know. What is it? Couldn't say. It Don't was know. a childhood. Hard, hard, it was hard, a hard childhood. To tell me if I've got it. <laughs> it's a it's a little cylinder. It's is is mother gift to him to play with when he was a child. It's, it's just, a spelling aid. It's very taught him how to read and write. Yeah. A tube. A tube, uh, yeah. Show him a tube. Tom, man. On one I, I have still I'll show him, show him your, show okay. him your tube. <laughs> it <laughs> looks kind of like this. It looks like what you find at the pink house. You see this? Oh, you're, you're Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
he's, he's like briskly speaking. A, a, to- a tube. I don't. I don't. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. I have that. I have that. Uh, he reaches underneath the thing. Uh, <laughs> pulls it up. There's three tubes on some string, and there's a little stone that rings off of them. It's chimes. There you go, my friend. There you go. 200 gold. It's yours. <laughs> no, uh, not thanks. quite what we're looking for. I assume none of the, the tubes look like what we're looking for, right? Now they're all silver. Well, how many tubes was it? Just the one. He yanks off one of the tubes. He goes, there. Uh, 40. 40 gold. As they're haggling with it, I'm going to look around the store. See if, sure. see if we see anything else in the store that looks like it came from the ship. Sure. Uh, there are a myriad of items in here. Uh, it is a pawn shop like you have not seen. These guys have collected weird stuff. Uh, there's stuffed sea creatures. Uh, there's religious iconography. Uh, there's a picture that resembles Robert. <laughs> I'm going to grab that one if it looks like one of the ones I paid for. It is. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go to Leaf. Hey, Leaf, Leaf. Yep. Do you, you have the ability to see magic on items? Yes, I do. Could you maybe do a wing ding on this? I certainly will. I'll do a detect magic. Give me a D4, Leaf. I like how you call it a wing ding. Wing ding. Uh, four. four. Yeah. Uh, there is a scroll case. A bronze clamshell, a whistle, and a painting. Painting of what? Uh, it appears to be an elven man. Do is you it, in, do you investigate it? Dark yes. Uh, oh, uh, 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 is that Arcana? Uh, you can Arcana it if you want. First, you got to make your wisdom save. Is the painting velvet? Okay. It is. Does it uh, have the much? elf has long sideburns. <laughs> Twenty-two. Uh, it speaks to you almost telepathically, but you're like, I don't. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. That's enough of that. Oh, I, I want to go ahead and take a look at the whistle. Are you sure you don't want to show the painting to the others? <laughs> nah. Uh, the whistle is ivory and it is in the shape of a mermaid similar to Felix's dagger. I wonder if I could fart into a whistle. Oh, I'm, I'm going to take a closer look at it. Is that, but I, that's about all I can do, I guess. How uh, much for the whistle? Uh, is that the mermaid one or the man mermaid with the little dingy thing? Yeah, no, I ain't blown on a man mermaid whistle. Uh, I don't the, think the so. Female, no, that is, I, I, I don't make me an offer. I'll give you a gold for it. Yeah, you want to leave now or you want to make a real offer? Okay, two gold then. Well, put, the re- thing, put the thing back. You said there's a pair of these, there's two of I, them? Yes, uh, somewhere there's a How about man, 10 gold pieces. Last offer. No deal. All right, good enough. So the items is leaf. Have you pointed out what you thought may be magical to copious or not? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that right now. So I okay. want to collect the, the four items that leaf selected plus a couple other random things in the shop that may be of interesting. But again, keep in mind, copious is a, a clothing, uh, you know, yeah, I'm on copious, so he's going to copious? be looking for jewelry or things. Wait, wait for this that he thinks he would like to add to the pile besides what Leaf did, plus the painting. And he's going to gather them up, and he's going to put them on the, the uh, table and say, hey, I, I'd be interested in all of this as a lot. I said, one I'm going to <clears throat> One of the items you find is a blue sequined Commodore jacket with gold buttons. Ooh, got to have, uh, got to have. Please be too big. Please be too big. Formal. It's my formal wear for formal estate dinners in the ship. Ready to D12 against me? Yes, you know it. Before you do, I want to know, is there a mermaid scabbard to put my dagger in, much like the one that I almost lost a hand with a few weeks ago trying to get? 
You'll D12 against me as soon as he does. Oh, Go I ahead, Copious. Oh, six. Five. Ooh. It's a little snug, <laughs> but it fits. So if you can't, you don't want to button it because you'll pop the buttons, but you can leave it open. Maybe find a ruffled shirt. And a vest, a good vest to go with it. That'll set it off perfect. All right, that's my formal, formal dinner wear now for onboard ship when entertaining. Um, <laughs> okay, stooping. Uh, <laughs> Felix, go ahead and D12. And, come on, this is the love boat. Six. Three. Uh, yeah, he has a scabbard, but there is a tiny, tiny aquamarine jewel in the profile of the mermaid. Interesting. But it is uh, not magical. Is it, uh, does my mermaid dagger fit into it? Do you want to put it in? Yeah. Just the tip. Just the tip. You just... hear a scraping. <clears throat> pull it out, and the edge is shinier. Huh. Oh, oh, nice. Got, Soft got a layer of sandstone in it, so Ooh, sharpening the possibly, blade. Yes, what could possibly sharpening. go wrong with that? Uh, okay, now you with the pile. Uh, what, what are you, weird? Why do you want all this stuff? Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to uh, uh, lay it on. Again, captain of the ship. Uh, some of the stuff, the painting would look great in my stateroom. The jackets for a dinner jacket, uh, the whistle. Boatswain's whistle. What's that? Uh, Boatswain's whistle. Boat, yes, for the bosun on board ship. He's a gnome like myself. I want to give him this. And, uh, and uh, magic uh, and this scabbard for the for the navigator. And I'm I'm going to throw the scabbard on the scabbard for the navigator. He's, he's simple in the head. And then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then the painting again, the both paintings would look good in two separate rooms of the ship. So he's just going to lay it out that way. You have weird taste. I do have weird taste. <laughs> Go ahead and persuade me for that. Thank the... you for noticing. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I cast um, Fey Presence, which is a charm? So he'd sure. have wisdom saving throw. So he, he would have to save against. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, wow. 19 on the die. Ah, darn it. All right. Oh, per persuasion was not a hit. Plus, he's got really awful. I didn't fumble it for nine. Uh, I had a 10. Uh, so he'll have the upper hand on the dealing. Uh, what do you got? You got two paintings. You got this stupid mermaid. Uh, did you find the merman? Did you find that one? I no, didn't, we didn't. But yes, if you have the merman, I want to throw it's, that in there too. It might be in here somewhere. I don't know. I had it. I had it. Uh, the bronze clamshell. You, you tacky. You're a tacky person. <laughs> uh, and the scroll case. Uh, I don't care. Uh, this is stupid. Uh, but very good quality stuff. Oh, and his uh, scabbard thingy. Uh, you have horrible choice, but you must pay. Uh, you know what? I like you. You look good in the jacket. I give you that half off. Uh, how, about, how about 400 gold? <laughs> yep. Uh, I said, well, that's, that's pretty steep. Uh, maybe, how about we say 300 gold? Well, now you lost by one, so he'll go to uh, 375. Uh, did you ever find those charts you thought you had for me? Those navigational charts. Me? Yeah, the 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 pawn dealer. He said he had some new charts in. Just oh. got them in. Yeah. Yeah. Just got they're, in. In, they're in scroll case. So uh, can can we pull those out and verify what they are? I don't care. Are they on? But they're not in my current pile, right? Yeah, they're in the scroll, scroll case. They're in the magic. scroll they're, cases. They're in the scroll case that. He, yes. Oh, okay, okay. I misunderstood. All right, I'll tell you what. Ugh. All right, three seventy-five. Um, if you give me a bag to carry all my stuff in, so it doesn't get damaged on the way back to the ship. I have perfect bag. Perfect. All right, I'll pay. I'll pay him. 
Deal. Deal or no deal. I'll ask him, will he accept a, a gem in exchange for gold as well? That works. I will not accept personal check. <laughs> will you accept an hour with Felix in the back room? Which one is Felix? That this tall drink of water right here. No. I <laughs> know. <laughs> His loss. Okay. I would take the hide off that one, though. Manfang? Does he bolt? No, I. that's all natural. Mm. <laughs> 375, here is your bag. Uh, it is a hide from a whale uh, trimmed in sheepskin. Perfect. It's very pretty. <laughs> it's very what? Pretty. Pretty. Looks like an oversized kid's purse. Wow. It's perfect, it's perfect for sauce. Admiral Copius. Admiral Copius. I want to make sure the paintings don't get damaged. That's serious. That's true. Uh, are you going to take a look at the tube? Yeah, I want to open the tube and pull out the before we conclude all the deal and everything's packaged, I want to make sure there are maps in there. As you look in there, there's nothing. And a couple of papers come out. Uh, those are your maps. Perfect. Okay, excellent. The owner reaches across and grabs the tube and he goes, you're an idiot. Map. <laughs> The map comes out. Because do you know how I know how to use this? Apparently not. Five hundred. <laughs> hey, a deal's a deal. Yeah, stupid, but I will. I will agree to the deal. Good thing. Otherwise, we're gonna burn the pawn shop down. <laughs> uh -huh. Felix, wait. You think I'm leaving here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Once the deal's concluded. I'll say, anything else anyone trying to buy? Uh, no, no, just the uh, mermaid scabbard, you know, for the navigator. This, this guy's wearing a red vest. It looks like the red vest that everybody else has stolen our stuff, right? Did we lose somebody? Yeah, we just oh. lost Manfang. Manfang just disappeared. Gotcha. Uh, not unless you want to look for the uh, merman uh, whistle. Yeah, let's let's give it a quick look. Do we find the merman whistle? Uh, investigation. 19 before modifiers. Nope. No. Oh. Woo. Yeah, if that didn't cut it, mine didn't cut it. Wow. I know it was here a minute ago. Huh. Okay. I know it was here a minute ago. Hey, is that uh, your grandfather beating his head against the table for the game? No. He's I know it was here a minute ago. Did somebody steal it from the pawn shop? Hey, uh, I am going to look around. Are the, I assume he has some rings of different sizes. I have three jewels I need to get set into a ring, and I fear it's going to be cheaper if I have a ring that I start with to get them set into. Sure. You want uh, gold, silver, copper, platinum? Any, any durable metal is fine. He's got them all. So, yeah, if I can find three rings that uh, will hold, and I have those three gems from um, the, the um, cane, yeah. and I'm just looking for something that has similar setting, so I can take it to a jeweler for a setting. Sure. Uh, 35 gold. Oh, you're a hard bargainer. How about 30 gold? How about 40? Oh, you... <laughs> all right, two rings, two rings. 20. All right, I'll do that. All right, I'll pay him that. And I assume we're good. Now, once we leave, I'm going to walk out. I assume Felix is coming with me and Man Thing. Yeah, because Felix can't figure out where the other whistle is. I know it was there a minute ago, but I'm not, for some reason, I'm missing it. I can't read into it. All right. Yep. Oh, All right. Well, what will be funny is if the the whistle we have goes back and forth. Uh, Walkie talkies, you mean? 
that, that seems like lazy writing to me. <laughs> uh, interesting. Um, interesting. So here's the thing. Weed that allows you to breathe underwater? Nah, probably not. Huh. A whistle only mermaids can uh, hear. Can oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> that was the deal of a century for only 375 well, gold. Well, you know, they wouldn't it's have any fortune. They, you know, they wouldn't have any lower half. And in Futurama, the man had the eggs. Uh, man, man, Fang, man. you haven't been paying attention because Felix doesn't really care that deeply. About it. <laughs> There's right, still plenty fine. of good stuff on the upper half. Here's what I want to ask. As you guys say, does that guy that was wearing the red vest. Is that look like the red vest like these other folks have been taking? At this point, our characters piece together. That guy is part of this whole criminal underworld. So here, so let's conclude our business, Felix. And then tonight, we burn that pawn shop to the ground and take our money back. Yeah, I think uh, Robert will have to come off the ship for that one because, you know, he's Sparky McGee in there. And... That's true. Uh, as you guys exit the pawn shop, you notice the entire village is headed up the stairs. Yes! <laughs> Upstairs to the pink house. No, we're going to the... Ah, the cartographer. Manager. Cartographer. He's not there. Closed, baby. <sighs> what about ah. the apothecary? Closed. Uh, they're Damn all going it. to the ritual for Lear. Mm-hmm. Damn it. All right. Oh, wait. Yeah, we yeah. need to go. We need to go with them. I'm going to explain to Copius what they're about to do because I don't remember if his character knows or not. They are going to dump all those tributes into the sea, and there is going to be a shitload of gold. And based on something that the DM just said, a whistle that might be able to breathe underwater. Would you look at that? Mermaid whistle. Mm. Mm, That's mermaid weird, whistle. But only one. <laughs> only one. Well, we only need one. Mermaid. That's true. Uh, this sounds like an excellent place to stop. Uh, I think you guys have a achieved symbiosis and gathering back together, which is helpful, and you've gotten most of your stuff back. Uh, Jason, what'd you think? I think the mystery is deepening and uh, Copius likes this little town and it's going to be a real shame when it's burned to the ground. <laughs> AJ, I, I would like the... to further build upon my relationship with the madam in a mutually beneficial way. Um, sure. But again, once the town burns, I don't know that that will occur. Well, uh, they, they will leave the pink house last. So as the snakes up the stairs and goes around the cliff, the pink house will be last. So if you guys dawdle, you will meet uh, the staff, so to speak. <laughs> oh, yeah. AJ, what would you think? Yeah, I, I must agree with uh, Jason on this one. I do enjoy this town. It's a lot of fun, and I, I'm going to be sad to see it go and when we have to part ways. You know, you don't have to burn it down. <laughs> Yeah, we do. Yeah, you, no, 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 we don't. Actually, Felix is going to campaign against burning it down later, I think. I Probably think he's going to use his veto power. One, one good <laughs> rolling fireball up the top of the hill. I think right so. into the yeah. pink house? No, not the pink yeah. house. Of all the places. The pawn shop, not the pink house. There needs to be little pink houses for you and me. Nice. Well played. Right. Uh, the song. Grandpa and young Frank, what would you think? That yeah, was good. I think my diploma b- diplomacy really shined here. It did. It and did. I actually wrote it down. Did a nice job. Man Fang yeah, outwits a guy. Almost up to a plus two on that intelligence yeah. now. And I think my comedic genius has expanded. Yes, it has. <laughs> With those yes. Your command about- of an anatomy has definitely expanded. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And Raccoon this, boy. I don't want to see any graphic pictures of raccoons going into caves showing up my email, Frank. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I, I can make no promises. No. <laughs> fans are fans for a reason. So. And I haven't told his grandmother yet. She's on a Zoom meeting with the family. I'll be up there telling her in a minute. Right. Don't. They got the family on the phone. Oh, I now's a good time to tell them. I think it's the best time to tell them. Yeah. 
Because they, they may not know that about a butthole and a raccoon. Do you know your grandson told me that a raccoon <laughs> can fit in a human anus? You see it from my story. Eight inches? Do you yeah. know what your son just said? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Ralphie. I love that. <laughs> Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Oh, the Tri Generational yeah. Campaign. If you stayed through it, I'm real sorry about the raccoon story. <laughs> uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit with us. Uh, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our cool stuff like a phone case, yeah, go ahead. Most importantly, if you want to join us on the talk show on Tuesdays or one of the one shots on Saturdays, M Hobo Inc., uh -huh. Gmail, or That's Twitter dumb. will get you in there. Thanks, Pirate Dog Dice, for not killing these guys. And thank you, Adventure Sense. Uh, again, little pink house for you and me, brothel edition. Maybe, you know, maybe a sale or two there. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., have a great rest of the weekend. Sorry, Browns, you did well, but not enough. Yeah. Mwah! Bye, everybody. The Browns. <laughs>